Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel, everyone. I am the host. My name is Catherine. I'm here to bring all of you clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have timeless readings for all of my beautiful Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a general love reading, so please take this energy, how it resonates with your energy and with the person that is closest to you. If you are new to the channel, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel by clicking on the watermark in the bottom right corner of your screen. That will allow your energy to flow freely through this message and all of the messages that I bring. Also, Cancers, I do a giveaway on this channel every single month for all of those that are subscribed to the channel, okay? Whether you're a Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Pisces, it doesn't matter what sign you are. All of you all are part of my collective, which brings me to my next point um, before I tell you what I give away. You guys, you all are a collective because you all are subscribed to my channel. And I focus on those who are subscribed to my channel because you all are the reason that I come here every single day. Do you understand? And so everything that you guys are going through all the time, those energies are all together and combined. I don't care if you're a Gemini, a Scorpio, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Taurus, whatever it is, it does not matter. When you are part of this group and this community here on Queen Cancer Tarot, you are considered the collective. All of your energies flow freely. When I read these cards, you guys, I'm not reading you your relationship with, with you know, your person. I'm reading the energy that I am seeing come out in the cards. So if this is a relationship that we are talking about. If I'm talking about a couple's reading, okay, for the collective, everyone in the collective that is a couple may or may not resonate with that energy. Do you understand? So, or it may or may not resonate with them at the current moment. It may resonate with something that happened in the past or something that is coming towards them. However, it is all just energy. You guys, please stop getting caught up when you hear words like collective. It's not an it's not a, a a bracket or an umbrella. It is just for everyone included. Okay. Everyone that is included in the Queen Cancer Tarot Collective is who I focus my readings and my my um energy on. Do you understand? So I do want to make that clear. So please, please be mindful when you come on here saying things um, about whether or not you believe or don't believe in uh, something that you're hearing or I'm saying, because it is for you and you only to take it how it resonates with you. Do you understand? I can't tell you that it should or shouldn't or that it does or doesn't, um, but it could or could not. And that's all that I've said here. Okay. I always keep that open. Please keep a very open mind when listening to these readings. All right. Please do that. So as I was saying, my collective, you all, I do a giveaway every month. All you need to do is be subscribed in order to win. Hashtag what you want to win. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, crystals, jewelry, and free readings. Everything that I've said is in the description box below. Please hashtag what you want to win in the comments. Do not put it in the chat because if this is a premiere, it is not alive and I will not see it. Okay, so please make sure you're hashtagging in the comments. If you don't mind winning all of the things that I have um, stated as options to win, you can hashtag all. For cancer season, I am doing a giveaway for three free three question readings. Okay, so three of my lucky subscribers will be able to enter in their chance to win. All you have to do is hashtag win, hashtag free reading, or hashtag reading, okay, in the comments below. All right. Now, other news, um, Tarot Talk Live, you guys. We have made it to 25 subscribers. Congratulations to Tarot Talk Live and congratulations to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel. You guys, we have 
breached the 2100 mark, you guys. Big ups to you. And a shout out to all of my beautiful, beautiful, lovely new subscribers. Everybody, I want to shout out and give a warm welcome and a beautiful, wonderful thank you for joining the channel. All right. As a subscriber, I love you all so much. My way of giving back to you is in multiple ways. Um, However, I do a lot of giveaways on this channel. I really do. So please stay tuned. Keep your notifications on and um, make sure they're set for all. Okay. All right. I am going to be going live soon, you guys, to be doing some question readings. One question readings, two question readings. Um, I take one question readings for $20. Um, I accept payment via Cash App or PayPal. Um, if you would like to have a personal reading, okay, and you don't want to have your question answered on a live, you can book a personal reading with me on my website. My website is active, okay, It's um, and you can shop with me on that website or book a reading with me. So please go and do that if you are interested in a personal reading, okay? All right. Also, I do have some merch coming soon. Um, I will be having t-shirts, sweatshirts, um, tumblers, and coffee mugs, you guys. Um, also, I have a new playlist available, Celebrity News, Hot Top. Feel like I'm experiencing okay, you guys. Sorry about that. I'm getting a little bit of a delay. Um, but yes, yeah, so uh again, all of that stuff is um coming soon and available to you. Um what else? What's is so there was something else that I wanted to bring up or mention. That's okay, you guys. I'll think about it later. Um, I am, I do, you guys, I forgot. I do have a 10% discount available to those who would like to purchase crystals from um, the place where I purchase my crystals. I do have a preferred discount and it's only for those who are subscribed to the channel. And it is at as a thank you because that is where I get most of, if not all of the crystals that I buy, um, especially the ones that I do for giveaways on this channel. So um, for that reason, she has um, made that discount available to me and has extended it to you all. So if you want to shop through me, you are available to do that. And so I will be also having that information available on my website soon. So I'm working out those details and I will let you know once I have everything worked out with the store owner. Okay. But I will not announce that until the details are set in stone and all that contractual stuff is all out of the way. Okay. But until then, stay tuned for that. All right. Okay, guys, let's get started with your reading. We are getting back to looking at each of the individual signs, you guys. And, um, we're going to look, take a look at Gemini. We're taking a look at Gemini, you guys. And so we're looking at a few things. We're looking at general. We're going to be looking at um, Gemini's in love. And then we will be looking at Gemini singles, okay? And so when we focus on the general advice, we'll be focusing on the current energy, what is currently around Gemini at this time. And then we'll be taking a look forward to see what is coming towards Gemini. Okay. And then with Gemini's in love, we'll be looking at Gemini's current energy. We'll look at the energy that Gemini cannot see. Okay. And then we will take a look to see where the relationship is going. Okay, where is this relationship going with this Gemini? And then lastly, we will take a look at singles, the fun Gemini singles. And then we'll look to see what the current energy is again, of course, around our Gemini singles. And then 
we'll take a look forward to see if, if new love is coming. And then we'll look to see if there's any specific with some Oracle message. Okay, so that, uh, and it started because we got a lot to cover. So for the current energy around Gemini, I am going to pull an oracle here. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell us about Gemini, please. Okay, we have 36 distant horizons. Number 36. Three plus six is nine. So there is definitely an energy of um, something perhaps that you feel someone is feeling like they're stuck in a place or stuck somewhere and perhaps it's going to be a while before they're able to get to where they want to go. Do you see that anchor and that ship sailing? But it's like in the clouds. It's very strange. It's like the ship is sailing in the clouds with the birds flying. Do you see that? See that? So there is an energy of feeling like you're wanting to get somewhere, Gemini. Um, but you feel like you're stuck. Maybe you're in a rut or you feel like you, you don't have what it takes to make it where you really want to be. So let's go ahead and back that up with the tarot here. Underneath the deck, we have poverty, number 37. I will take that. So perhaps it's a financial situation, okay, where you're wanting to go somewhere or get somewhere and you don't see yourself getting there. We have King of Wands under the deck. This is an energy of seeing the bigger picture. So perhaps Cancer or Gemini, I'm sorry, perhaps Gemini, you're not seeing the bigger picture because of the financial constraints that you are currently in right now. So it's hard for you to vision yourself getting where you really want to go. So there's an energy of feeling stuck, okay, in your situation. Maybe you want to move somewhere and you don't really have the money to do that right now. So you're feeling like stuck. So we have the moon, Holy Spirit, and, and Gemini energy. I'm sorry, Piscean energy. And we have the Empress, Cancerian Libra Taurus energy. So this is an energy, like I said, of someone who is really unsure of their current status or someone who's unsure of how they're going to attain something because they don't have the financial abundance that it's going to take to get them there with that emperor. that moon energy there's an energy of a feeling uh it's abundantly um under of cups this is thinking about the past and thinking when times used to be good. Um, but with that moon, it's like an energy of things being very uncertain here. And with that five of pentacles here, this refers to someone being afraid of not having enough money or being left out or left behind or not being able to get something because they're not cutting it. You know what I'm saying? Financially, they don't have what it takes. There's, it's almost like someone who is afraid um, that they're not going to 
have the abundance that maybe they used to have in the past. Maybe things used to be good in the past, but there's a bit of uncertainty now. Okay, so maybe someone has fallen on hard times. Okay, with poverty here, someone has fallen on a bit of hard times. Money isn't coming in the way that it used to come in now. We have the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. We'll stop there. But there's an energy of someone who is feeling like they just don't have what it takes. That Nine of Cups, while it can represent someone feeling content or happy or like they've gotten their wish fulfillment, it can also represent very clearly that someone is not satisfied with what they have. You see that person's arms crossed? They're not satisfied. And with that Eight of Pentacles, Pentacles, there's an, an energy of needing to boss up, needing to level up, wanting to have more or wanting to do better or fix themselves or do something to make them more valuable or to make their situation come to pass. So let's clarify this energy here. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Gemini, please. Tell me about the moon, please. Gemini, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Doing this a little bit different, you guys. For whatever reason, Spirit is having me do this differently. So we have the High Priestess here. Again, that's an energy of someone who is seeking answers or seeking truth from the divine. This is someone who's going within themselves to try to find answers as to what they need to be doing. Okay. Um, you see B and J here on this card. Um, someone could have the initials B and J. Someone's name could start with a B or your person's name could start with a J. I don't know. Or someone could have the initials BJ here. Underneath the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And I just forgot you guys. I'm calling out all the... Um, all of the signs here, and I don't have to do that. This is a Gemini reading. However, this is specifically Gemini. I do want you to see the other um, energies that you have around you um, because that may help you resonate with the message as well. So again, this is that Gemini energy coming through being very defensive or someone who is looking or seeking truth here or who's being very um, guarded, okay, while they're trying to figure out what it is they need to be doing here. This is someone who's not really speaking, but they are being, they are being very, very um, guarded or protective, okay, at this time. They're being very protective at this time. This person is also someone who is making um, a decision. I feel like that queen of swords is holding that sword and they're ready to cut through a situation to get to the bottom of something here. Let's see. Tell me about this empress, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about the empress, please. And we have that eight of swords. There it is. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Gemini, I feel like this is an energy of feeling blocked. Like you are stuck. Like you can't get to the, the financial um, resources that you need in order to get you where you want to go right now. And I feel like maybe you want to travel somewhere. It could be that you want to travel somewhere or maybe you want to move to a different city. Gemini and you don't have the funds or the resources to do that state or part of the country but there's again I'm trying to tell you you feel as though you are financially strapped and like you cannot move there's an energy of not being able to move and um 
being afraid that you're going to be stuck in your situation, stuck in a rut. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Okay. And we have the Queen of Wands. So there could be um, some other third party that is a friend that with this Knight of Wands energy here under the deck, um, this could be someone who's going to come in and um, help you. Okay, someone who's going to come in. Knight of Wands talks about a hero. Okay, it talks about a hero, someone who's coming in to save the day, okay, or to fix a situation. Um, it's also that Knight of Wands also is someone who is acting um, kind of against any everyone else's uh, wishes here, maybe. So there could be a friend. Um, it's like there's an energy of a friend that is going to come in and help. But I feel like, I don't know. Let's see. Give me one more for the Knight of Wands, please. And we have the Two of Cups. I feel like there's an energy of this friend has got like a partner, a person, maybe a spouse um, that doesn't want them to help or is like against this. Tell me about the five of pentacles, please. Holy Spirit. And we have the seven of cups here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Underneath the deck, we have the eight of wands. Somebody is getting ready to come in. Um, I feel like somebody is going to come in, you know, um, with an offer or offering options here or giving you options or somebody is going to come in really quick. Um, this can also represent someone coming in trying to confuse you with a lot of different options. And with that King of Swords energy here, this is someone who is coming in with the intentions of leaving very quickly or coming in and not sticking around. Like they're moving very fast. So, you know, and with that Five of Pentacles, this is a situation where I would just be careful um, of doing anything financial with this person. I would just be mindful of this. I'm getting some kind of vibe about this because look, you have the two of swords. There's something that you can't, something that's hidden or something that you can't really see about this king of swords here. And this is a true pair. This is a true pair. You have the king to the queen of swords. So you have two people who equally kind of like don't really trust the situation here. Hmm. Tell me about this Nine of Cups, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. And we have the Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Synergy. So, 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 again, this is an energy of the fact that they're not satisfied or that they don't have enough or... It's like an energy of wanting to keep things a secret or not wanting other people to know. And with this King of Wands energy under the deck, maybe this is going to be an argument or some argument is going to take place here. It's almost like with this King of Swords and this hidden information, and then we've got all this communication with this confusion. And now we have this five of pentacles situation. You know what? Do you know what? I feel like there's an energy of you have someone who's coming in that is in a relationship with someone that's coming in to help a friend financially, but it's going to cause issues in this relationship and i feel like you are the queen of swords and i feel like your person 
is the person that is going in behind your back to help this friend of theirs. Do you understand? I feel like that's exactly what I feel like is happening here. Because that Queen of Cups represents that third party energy and the Six of Cups represents the karmic, that friend here. So that's interesting, Gemini. So um, I do feel like there's an energy of, you know, your spouse or your person may be, you know, going to help this person. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles, please. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, please. And we have the King of Pentacles. See what I mean? This is an energy. And I feel like there this person does have money and you do have money i feel like there's just an energy of you just don't want your person to do this um under the deck we have the page of swords and there is an energy that you may find out about this okay yeah we have the chariot energy here um with the ace of wands i do feel like there is going to be a fight or an argument this is definitely going to cause an issue in the connection with the four of cups here i don't know this person may not be sleeping at home after this all goes down so i do feel like that is what's happening so let's look to see what is coming towards you in this situation Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me ooh, about Gemini. Uh-oh. So, uh-oh. We have the Ten of Swords and the Emperor. Oh, my gosh. This is an energy of betrayal, lies, um, someone who's being deceptive in a marriage. Someone who is being deceptive in a marriage here. So, again, I'm feeling like there is a spouse who is not saying things or who is not really coming completely clean here with that nine of pentacles under the deck and the ten of cups this is very interesting because this is someone who is acting like they're single or doing what a single person would do even though they're in a committed ten of cups situation you see what i'm saying there's an energy of somebody who is going around and spending money that is supposed to be in the family family on friends or frivolously spending it and being deceptive or doing things, you know, outside the home financially when it was something that was not agreed upon. So that is kind of the energy that I'm getting here. Let's clarify this 10 of swords. Tell me about the 10 of swords, please, for Gemini. Holy Spirit. Oh my God, you guys, the 10 of swords again. So I do feel like this is a situation where, oh my God, with the emperor under the deck, you guys, I cannot make this stuff up. I can't. It's so impossible. You are seeing me shuffle these cards and we have the 10 of pentacles. I cannot make it up with the tower. So listen, Linda, and I'm going to tell you once and I'm not going to tell you again, Gemini, if this is you, be careful. Do not, if you are in a marriage, Gemini, if you are in a marriage or in a committed relationship with someone and there was a clear conversation not to do something with money or that something wouldn't be done or there was an agreement, do not go beside yourself and do, go outside of that without having a conversation first. That four of swords represents someone who is not saying what they need to be saying here with that king of wands that represents an energy of someone who knows full well what they're going to be doing but they're not saying it that's what's key it's the same as lying some people feel like if they just don't give an answer it's like protecting them from being a liar well no it's not because you are implying that it's not what i you know this person is saying so tell me about this emperor, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. And we have the emperor to the empress in the same position, you guys. Tell me about the emperor, please. I cannot make this crap up. Look, the eight of cups and temperance. It's an energy of, you know, someone is, is basically walking away or there's an energy of someone is basically ready to leave. With that temperance card, there's an energy of, 
It's like begging you not to stay. Please, it's like, please, please forgive me. I know I was wrong. Please don't leave me. Um, but with that Eight of Cups and the Death card underneath the deck, I feel like this has been multiple times that this has happened. You got the Ten of Swords twice. That's multiple swords in that person's back. And they're laid out on the ground. And you've got the death card and the tower all in the same position. Not, it doesn't happen. Not without a reason. And the way we got that emperor like that, that does not happen either. Okay. With the 10 of swords, um, definitely the end of a marriage or a commitment with that nine of pentacles. This is pre empress energy. Tell me about the nine of pentacles, please. With the ace of swords yeah there was a truth you found out a truth and look with that three of swords like you're out of the door this is all swords gemini this is all your energy here i do feel like um you're finding out a truth about your person and you know you just can't take it anymore we got four swords here again so tell me about the ten of cups Uh oh and we got the sun Underneath the deck, we got the nine of pentacles again. It's like you see a brighter future on your own. It's almost like you, you know, you see yourself being happier as a pre empress. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about people being dishonest or people going behind your back. Um, when, you know, like I said, this is serious business. This is money that belongs in the family. I don't know how much money this was, but I feel like it was a lot. We got the Empress, you guys, and the, the Emperor and the King of Pentacles. So there, this was not a small piece of money here. And distance horizons, I feel like money, you guys may be strapped for money right now. So this is like a, a huge deal. So let's go ahead and move on to Gemini in love. It's a long reading, you guys, but that's okay. Let's see, what is Gemini's current energy for Gemini's in love? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about Gemini's current energy. So we have the Tower and Temperance here. Two major arcana here. The Tower and Temperance. Fire energy, strong, strong fire, Sagittarius energy here. So, you know, I feel like for those of you who are in love, I feel like they're... Um, you're starting to realize there was a connection. I feel like that, um, maybe some of you were in that you realized maybe you should have, it shouldn't have ended the way that it did. And with that temperance card, it's like wanting to apologize for the way something happened, or maybe you got in an argument with your person. And you said some things all of a sudden, you know what I mean? Um, you didn't control yourself with this temperance card. You didn't control your emotions here. There's an energy of not being able to control your emotions. Under the deck, we have the Knight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles here. And this is someone who is going back and forth or someone who's trying to fix something with someone, but I feel like they're not really getting any airplay with that six of pentacles. It's like this person does not have any time or energy to give this person. It's one person here is doing everything with that knight of cups. This is someone who's trying to um, win someone over here. Or trying to romance someone here. Tell me about the Tower and Temperance. And we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, someone went too far. Someone said something or did something and they went too far with the Four of Pentacles. And now this person is taking it back. They're taking back what they said. There's an energy of they, they spoke too soon and now they're walking it back. Do you understand? 
Ten of Wands with the Four of Pentacles. It's too much, and now they're taking it back. Tell me about the Knight of Cups and that Six of Pentacles, please. And look, we have the King of Cups. This is an energy of someone who is, you know, kind of cold to the connection. You know, they love this person, but they're not really giving what this person wants. They're very much being very distant. Do you understand? With the hermit, look at this under the deck, Virgo energy. This is an energy of someone who is pulling back. Okay. They're kind of taking a closer look at a situation. Okay. To figure something out. So yeah, that's what's going on right now, Virgo. I feel like those of you who are in love, there's someone who said something in the heat of the moment, but they, they are sorry about it. But I feel like this person is not getting an opportunity to apologize here. Let's see. What is it that you can't see around this person? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What energy can you not see around this person, Gemini? Holy Spirit. And we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse and the Five of Wands. Look at this. Now, this is an energy of somebody who is just tired of fighting. Your person does not want to fight anymore. Um, yes, they said something. It was out of line. But there's an energy of, you know, they didn't mean it. They kind of stepped out of line. This person was <clears throat> stressed out. You both said things that you shouldn't have said. Underneath the deck, you have the three of wands and the six of swords. This person just wants to move on, period, point blank. They just want to move on. They want to, you know, get out of this um, funk that you guys are in right now. They don't want to continue the fighting and they want things to end. Tell me about the ten of wands in the reverse and the five of wands, please. Holy Spirit. And we have the six of swords again. Beautiful energy, Gemini. What a you guys have a very beautiful reading, you guys. Very confirming. All of your cards are clarifying. This is just gorgeous. Well, look at this. Nine of swords under the deck. This person is tired of the fighting. They're ju they just want it to end. They just want to move past the situation. They said something that they didn't mean to say. Tell me about the three of wands and the six of swords. They just want peace now. They just want to move on to a place where there's peace, will of fortune. Things are going to change. I feel like things are going to change. Someone is going to make a decision to just come in with, you know, positive energy. Do you understand? Knight of Pentacles under the deck. This is definitely someone who's very reliable. I feel like it's going to take a while. Someone may be a little, you know, in their ego or just, you know, a little bit slow moving here. Um, but this is going to be coming in. So let's see, where's the relationship headed for Gemini's in love? Where is the relationship headed? Okay. Got two cards coming out. So we got the King of Swords and the Four of Swords. I feel like, you know what, all of this arguing and divisiveness and coming and going, fighting, all of this is going to come to an end with that Four of Swords. I feel like there's going to be peace. I feel like there's going to be some clarity with a conversation. We have the Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups under the deck, which is very beautiful. This is Ten of Cups here. OK, 10 cups here. But with that three of cups and the seven of cups, this is going to start off with a conversation. Do you understand? There are going to be questions asked. Things are going to be laid out on the table. There are going to be options here. But this talks about a decision between, you know, your person. Do I love you know, do we really love each other? And if we do, then we can settle the situation here. Tell me about the King of Swords and the Four of Swords. Holy Spirit, Angels, and Guides. Okay. And we have the Queen of Cups. Listen, there's love. Where there's love, there's healing. Where there's the Queen of Cups, there's healing. Do you understand? Um, under the deck, the lovers. Do you understand? Look at this. I don't make this stuff up. It is just so beautiful. And that is your energy, Gemini. Wow. Tell me about the three of cups and the seven of cups. And we have the strength card in the reverse. Somebody is giving in. 
somebody is no longer able to just, you know, be stubborn anymore. We saw that situation where it was like, okay, just forgive your person. Your person is sorry. They didn't mean to say what they said. Oh my God, you got the page of cups under the deck. This is someone coming in with that apology with the two of pentacles. I feel like this person is going back and forth trying to figure out what to say or with their words because they're nervous, but there's an energy of this person truly is sorry. Um, I feel like the relationship is headed towards healing. Ultimately, let's look at Gemini singles now. What is the current energy around Gemini singles, please? What is the current energy? Queen of Cups. I feel like there is healing that is taking place with you with the two of wands under the deck. This is talking about someone who is making plans to move towards healing or someone who is seeing themselves or trying to get out of their comfort zone so that they can heal. So there's an energy of needing to get out of a situation so that you can heal. So for those of you who are finding yourselves newly single, I feel like you are just coming out of a relationship with that two of wands. You're definitely nestling into a safe place here. Tell me about the queen of cups, please. I would have said differently if it were the other way around. Three of cups. Listen, I feel like you're just wanting to be um, go out and have friends, you know, friendly conversations. You don't really want things to get serious with that ace of cups look you're not looking for a new connection right now five of wands you have come out of a situation that was very tumultuous tumultuous with that seven of swords here i feel like there was dishonesty um and you have some trust issues going on tell me about the two of wands this is definitely someone who is afraid or keep wanting to play things safe right now tell me about the two of wands please with the moon, see, you're very uncertain about, you know, getting involved with anyone right now because you don't know where things are headed. With that full energy, it's keeping it very light, very non-committal. You don't want to get into anything serious because, with again, that seven of swords is keep coming. It keeps coming back. You know what I'm saying? And so there's an energy of you've gotten away from this and you want to stay away from this. You don't want to deal with liars. So in order to keep yourself in this energy, you will keep things very lightweight, very non-committal. OK, so let's see. Is there new love coming towards you? <laughs> is there new love coming despite what your current energy is? <laughs> Holy Spirit, angels and God, is there new love? So we have the Ace of Wands and the Strength card. Listen, I feel like there is definitely someone very attractive coming towards you, but I feel like this is definitely going to be um, someone who, you know, you may feel very uh, passionate about in a sexual way. It may not be anything that, you know, any deep feelings for this person with the Strength card. You're definitely in an energy of being very, very strong, very patient, very able to... Um, you know, hold back. Do you know, understand? So I feel like you're definitely going to be holding back when it comes to uh, sex. Okay. You're not looking at that right now. Listen, page of swords under the deck with the seven of pentacles. You are not in any place where you're ready to give anything up right now because you're not trusting. You just want to you know, get to know people, talk to them, see them, ask questions. You don't really know what's going on. You're not really invested in anything long term. You don't want to commit yourself. You don't want anything to happen. You just want it to be lightweight here. Um, so I do feel like there may be someone coming towards you, but you are definitely going to be holding back from this person. But this person is coming towards you wanting like sex, I feel like. Tell me about the ace of wands holy spirit um, and we have the six of wands yeah this person is coming to um when to uh 
it's like someone who's coming to win a prize here. You know what I mean? That six of wands is a very egotistical energy, someone who wants to be seen. They want to be victorious. You understand? They want to win. They want to succeed. And look, with that nine of cups, this is somebody who is like, it's never enough. With that 10 of cups, this is a lot of emotions. Again, this could be someone coming in with a lot of emotional sexual energy, but you don't want this, Cancer. With that nine of cups, this is an energy of you are not, you're looking past this, okay? You're looking past this right now. Tell me about the strength card, please. Tell me about the strength card. And we got the eight of pentacles. You are more concerned with working on yourself and bettering yourself, bossing up, you're working, you're, you know, you're busy making money, you're focusing on doing you. With that page of wands under the deck, this is an energy of someone who is moving very quickly, okay, sexually advancing on someone quickly. And you are definitely holding back from that. Look at this double energy here. Do you understand? Look at that double energy in the background. Behind, uh, behind that page of wands was a devil. This is someone who is moving too quick. This is someone who's like got a lot of sexual, you know, um, obsessions, perhaps. Maybe this person is a little obsessive over you, Cancer, but you are definitely pulling back. You're kind of anxious around this person. It's like, really, what are you doing? Tell me about the page of swords. Like they make you a little nervous. The way they look at you. Look at this. Six of pentacles in the reverse. This is someone who likes to take advantage of others or people who like to control the other person or there's some sort of unfair dynamic going on with this person. It just makes you nervous. Look at this. Five of cups. You feel like this may be someone you would regret being in a situation alone with or you definitely are not willing to be in a situation with this person romantically or alone cancer tell me about the seven of pentacles yeah you just want to be single ace of pentacles this is eight pentacles again like there's an energy of this person is coming around you may tell this person that you know you just got a new job or you know you're with someone or you just met someone you can't you know yeah there's something about it where this person comes along and you're going to be like, I have to do something else. Empress underneath the deck. I feel like you're going to let this person know, like you have kids to take care of. You can't really be in a relationship right now. Or you may even tell this person that you're involved. The Empress is someone who who is in a stable connection or who is loved or has some loving connection or someone very attracted to them. So it could be someone who's married or someone who has kids. So, yes, there is someone who's coming towards you, but they're coming in a very highly sexualized state and you're not really wanting that cancer. It's also very immature energy with that page of wands. So, yeah, you're like, I'm working right now. What is the advice for Gemini singles, please? Are you there, angels and guys? Whoa. What clarity? What guidance? Okay. And we have the Page of Cups in the reverse and the Seven of Swords. Listen, it's almost an energy of like, you know, you're feeling very emotionally insecure at the moment. With that Seven of Swords, definitely an energy, like I said, people lying, people, you know, cheating, being deceptive, up to no good. Definitely an energy of needing to be watchful. Of this underneath the deck with the king of pentacles and the it's it's almost an energy of um there may be someone that's coming towards you that's married i feel like there's an energy of someone who's moving towards you that may be in a connection or may have children okay but you can't see this about this person it's definitely um something you can't see but it's deceptive on their part seven of swords eight of swords king of pentacles this person could be married with children Let's confirm or clarify here. It's definitely a reason to stay single here because you're not trusting right now. Tell me about the Page of Cups in the reverse. Two of Wands. Someone is, it's like someone is is like playing it safe. Like they're very, they're, they're very non-committal. With that Seven of Wands, yeah, you're, you're definitely pushing this person away from the jump because you can tell this person is not someone who's really wanting to settle down. This person is someone that just kind of says things because they want you, they like 
what they're saying or they want you to um, believe them or to fall for what they're saying. This could be someone that you used to date or could be a friend or just someone who's coming in um, from the past. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please. You're not trusting with the magician here. You feel like everything that people say to you or whatever, it's like they're just lying to get one over or to try to get something out of you. Six of Cups, again, underneath the deck. Same six of cups here. I feel like this person is, um, there is going to be an energy of someone who's moving towards you. And I feel like this person is not going to give up. This is someone very obsessive, very possessive. This person does not give up. Tell me about the king of pentacles. This person is married. This person is married. See, two of pentacles. Look at, listen. Listen, Linda, they could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is going back and forth with the five of swords. They are playing mind games. They are lying. They are lying to you, Gemini. This person is in a relationship. With that eight of swords, you cannot see this. Tell me about the eight of swords. Yep. Ten of cups. You can't see the fact that this person is married. They have kids. They may have two kids with a dog. Knight of cups under the deck. And this person is out flirting with you but with the justice card here i feel like there's going to be consequences and karma you're going to find out the truth about this wow let's go ahead and pull oracle you guys um for all of the individual signs i do offer extendeds you do have to do them by request because i do so many and these are much longer um if i get enough requests for an extended you guys i will make one public for you to purchase all my extendeds are eleven dollars and eleven cents okay tell me about gemini please tell me about gemini holy spirit this is just one last oracle to close out the message for gemini's okay this is what we pulled you guys Romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. Wow, Cupid's arrow strikes. So uh, Gemini, Cupid's arrow is going to strike. I do feel like there is someone who is coming towards you, Gemini, but I don't feel like the um, passion is being reciprocated here. Um, but when Cupid's arrow strikes, Things can happen. You never, never know. All right. I hope you guys love the message. Thank you so much for being subscribed to the channel. Thank you guys. Make sure you guys are hashtagging what you want to win. Today is the 30th. Tomorrow is the last day of the month. I am going to be announcing winners for the monthly winners, you guys. So please, please subscribe to the channel if you want to be considered in the drawing. I love you guys. Take care of each other and yourselves and stay blessed. I'll see you back soon. Bye.